Post-apocalyptic stories are everywhere nowadays, so much so it is not surprising to see them in narratives meant for youngsters. But Baidab on First Light, which premieres at the Tribeca Film Festival this week, is not that. On the contrary, it's similar to native futurism, a vision of Toronto long following contemporary civilization has disappeared, where nature has overtaken every nook and cranny of the city. Humans continue to be about, but they coexist with the environment similar to the way Native Americans accustomed to. Most surprisingly, there is no feeling of loss in the film. On the contrary, it's only a neutral look at one possible direction for humankind. Baidaban is an Anishina Bimawin word that translates to the first light before dawn, which also points to the notion of the future and past converging on what's happening now. Ultimately, the film is a love letter to the first peoples in the Kurando area. There's no English spoken in the film, instead you hear Mohawk, Wendat and Ojibwe as you maneuver around the VR environment, which is later translated into text. There's something fascinating about hearing those languages, which have existed for thousands of years, describing a far-flung future where modernity has simply faded away. There are still skyscrapers, sure, but they're covered in verdant greens and filled with more wildlife than people. It's inspired by the idea that indigenous languages are the original languages of all these places. And the thought systems in a way grew up here as much as plants grew up here, said Lisa Jackson, the director of Baidamban. We don't even have a term for a future where there's more nature that isn't post-apocalyptic, and I find that very interesting. I would call it a reclaimed Toronto where all the parts of life are living together, rather than humans living at the top of a pyramid. The film was produced by Jackson, the National Film Board of Canada, 3D artist Matthew Borat, and the design agency Jam 3. There's no word on a wider release yet, but since it's basically a room-scale VR experience with no extra hardware, it should be straightforward for the NFB to make it available on existing platforms.